Hey guys, welcome back. Today I'm going to show you how to replace your blower motor on your car or truck. Now this truck here is a 1990 Ford Bronco, but this technique will work on pretty much any old Ford or GM car and truck. The blower motor here is located in the engine bay, right there, and the blower motor resistor is located right underneath it, down there. Now a common problem with a bad blower motor is if your fan speed when you select your speed it doesn't really blow as much as it should and or there's a grinding noise coming out from the actual motor itself now a bad resistor blower motor resistor would give you a symptom of one or two of the speeds not working at all so it would work on low but not high or vice versa it would work on high and not low now I do recommend using all OEM parts and I'll show you here now here I have a blower motor, blower motor wheel, and the blower motor resistor here, all factory parts for my truck. And I do recommend you guys getting factory parts for your car or truck. So let's get started. First you're going to want to remove your negative battery cable and place it off to the side. Next disconnect your AC presser switch and move your heater hoses and place them off to the side. You may have to tie them away. Okay, now disconnect the wiring to your blower motor and the rest of the wiring all around it too and set the loom off to the side. So just make sure you're very careful when you're working with these old connectors. Disconnect this one as well. The blower motor resistor is located down here, so disconnect this as well. And if your model has a MAP sensor, Disconnect that as well. Disconnect your HVAC vacuum. And now you can pull your complete blower motor harness out of the way. Next, remove all of the blower motor bolts. Now the blower motor will have a seal to it, so you're going to have to gently pry it off. And then pull out your blower motor. Now you have easy access to the blower motor resistor. So go ahead and remove the two bolts. And careful not to drop these bolts. And then remove your blower motor resistor. Now I want to mention that this appears to be an older design, which I'm assuming it's original to the truck, because the new one actually has a different style of plug to it which seems that it will plug into the factory harness. This looked like it had a pigtail that plugged into the harness, but this here itself will plug into the factory harness off of the truck. Now the blower motor that I bought didn't come with this air hose here, which is really to cool down the motor itself. So you could just remove that air hose, clean it up a bit, and install it on your new blower motor. And lastly here, I wanna also point out that the blower motor resistor may or may not actually have two different temperature cutouts. Now, for this truck, there's a 250 temperature cutout or a 300 degree temperature cutout, and they're both manufactured by Ford Motorcraft. I opted and got the 300 degree. The red one is a 250 degree cutoff, but just keep in mind that you get the correct one for your car or truck. And for this truck here, it calls for the 300 degree cutoff. Now again, I chose to go with a new Motorcraft wheel. If you're going to use your original wheel, make sure you clean all this dirt and debris inside the veins. You can see them there. This dirt here dramatically reduces the airflow. So if you're going to reuse this wheel, the original wheel, make sure you clean each and every single one of those veins right there. I'm going to actually use the brand new wheel. I ordered it in case the original wheel was cracked or chipped. 
So I just went ahead and ordered a brand new one and that's the one I'm going to be using. All right, now install your wheel. It's gonna have a, like a little key here, so make sure you put it on correctly. And push it all the way on. Then install the locking clip. Install the hose. Now install your new resistor. Install the new adhesive gasket. And install the new blower motor. Now bring the harness back into place. Plug in your map sensor and your vacuum line. Next, plug in your resistor. And then your blower motor. Finish up the rest of the loom. Plug in your AC sensor and reposition the heater hoses. And lastly, reconnect your battery. Alright guys, so we completed the job. Now let's go test it out. Alright guys, I'm inside the vehicle now. I'm testing it out on low speed and I feel a pretty good amount of air. Let's try the next speed up. Now that's nice too. I could already tell it's much more better airflow than the old blower motor was doing. And now I have level three working. And that's on full blast. That feels pretty good. So if this video helped you guys, give me a like, subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one. Later.